In this video, prepare to be amazed as we unveil the must-have Skyrim mods that will elevate your gaming to new heights. Whether you're a seasoned dragonborn or a fresh-faced adventurer, this video is for you. So, grab your gear and sharpen your swords, because it's time to dive into the epic world of Skyrim. First, let's talk about the animation aspect. There have been some interesting mods uploaded to Test Nexus related to animations. First up is Paired Animation Improvements. Paired Animation Improvements is an SKSE plugin created by a modder named Ursh. This plugin allows events marked with comments to be triggered in paired animations similar to regular animations. Additionally, it enables the game to generate synchronized animation bindings as needed providing several hundred animation slots for animation replacement. This plugin supports both SEAE VR versions. This plugin overcomes the limitations of paired animations, enabling more diverse and precise animation effects. For example, in mods like Payload Interpreter, animations in paired animations are controlled using a dummy event called Pi. However, in the base game, these events do not function. By installing this plugin, such events work properly, allowing the use of comments in paired animations just like in other animations. Next is Organic Player Animations. Organic Player Animations enhances and adds new animations for the player character's idols, conversations, and more. This mod aims to increase okay, immersion by making the player character appear to interact with the surrounding sorry, environment and engage with dialogue what can partners. You tell me about Talos? By combining over 30 different idols, Are you the transitions fisherman? between idols for the player character become smooth, and during conversations, the mod expresses a variety of awareness here? and responsiveness. Furthermore, I could it provides a set of vanilla-style animations for both male and female player characters and is configured with lower folder priority to ensure compatibility with other mods. No, I don't. If you're looking to add diverse reactions to your character and enhance your experience, I recommend trying out this mod. Next, we have updates on important mods. First, let's talk about the Open Animation Replacer mod, version 2.0.1 update. The Open Animation Replacer has been updated from version 1.3 to version 2.0.1. This update includes various changes and additions, such as support for the previously mentioned paired animation replacement and added support for all behavior projects within daytime niches. For more detailed information on the changes, you can refer to the change log on the Open Animation Replacers page on the Test Nexus website. Next, we have news about the Photo Mode 1.2 update. The recently updated Photo Mode now allows the Player tab to function on all characters, and you can use the console to select NPCs and modify their expressions and idle states. Additionally, it now supports mouse buttons as shortcuts and resolves the issue where screenshots were not being taken when the screenshot shortcut was changed. There have been several other changes as well. For a more comprehensive list of changes, please visit the TezNexus website. The link is provided in the YouTube video description. Next, let me introduce a few mods related to visuals and buildings. Firstly, we have the Light Limit Fix. This mod removes the dynamic light limit, allowing an unlimited number of dynamic lights and adds features like particle lights, contact shadows, first-person torches, and magic light shadows. The mod utilizes a feature called Community Shader to implement high-performance and scalable lighting. It also supports particle lights, like ENB lights, making it compatible with mods such as ENB Light, ENB Lights for Effect Shaders, and the Rudy 102 ENB Light series. Appearing to be based on the community shader, if you're someone who wants to enhance Skyrim's lighting by utilizing this shader, adding the Light Limit Fix mod could be a great choice. 
Next, I will introduce ENB Extender for Skyrim. ENB Extender for Skyrim is a Kai Loader plugin that extends the ENB for Skyrim. This plugin allows you to set different external shader variables for each weather and implements an external shader caching feature. It saves and loads the shaders that used to be recompiled every time in the cache. Moreover, it adds a Save and Apply button that performs both tasks with one click and many features that let you design and adjust the shader's GUI as you wish. Next, we have Tholdor's Iverstead. This mod completely revamps Iverstead. What used to be a village consisting of two farms, a barn, and an inn, has now been transformed into a cozy little town with a town square, a temple, a cemetery, and a guard tower. If you're interested in experiencing the renewed atmosphere of Iverstead provided by the Thuldor's Iverstead mod, give it a try. It will immerse you further into the world of Skyrim. Lastly, let's introduce Red Wave Corsairs, a Red Wave ship replacer. This mod completely changes the appearance of the ship, called the Red Wave in Solitude Harbor. By using resources from DK's Ships and Boats of Tamriel mod, both the exterior and interior of the Red Wave are redesigned. It transforms the ship into one that reflects the personalities of its crew and their pirate activities, enhancing the maritime atmosphere. Next, I'd like to introduce an outfit mod. The mod I'm presenting to you today is called Obi's Rogue Outfit. This outfit has been meticulously crafted with leather, adding richness to your Skyrim experience. The standout features of this outfit include an impressive hood and mask. The top part consists of a strap bra, while the bottom is comprised of leather pants. The inclusion of leather boots and a spiked accessory on the right thigh adds an extra layer of detail. I highly recommend this outfit, especially for viewers who enjoy playing with concepts like assassins or snipers. It perfectly captures the essence of these stealthy and deadly character archetypes. This attire is available in ESL file format and can also be crafted in-game providing flexibility in how you incorporate it into your Skyrim adventures. And there you have it, folks. The top Skyrim mods you absolutely must have for an unforgettable gaming experience in September 2023. If you found this video helpful and inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow adventurers. And remember to subscribe for more epic Skyrim content coming your way. Thank you for joining us on this modding journey. Until next time, may your Fusro Da be strong and your adventures in Skyrim be legendary.